day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we need to start by hitting new and choose 3D design. We are going to create something fun. It is going to be called a floor plan. And we'll put the word house after it because it's going to be a house. All right, everybody. So one of my favorite users, Brian, asked for a floor plan for a house. Friends, let's make one real quick. When you bring out a cube, I want you to type 80 for the length. I want you to type 2 for the thickness. And then we're going to make the height of our first floor 15 and press enter. Click on that shape and do control D. Use your arrow keys to nudge it away. I am holding shift nudge so it moves faster. I'm gonna take those two and do control D. I'm gonna hold down shift and this is so awesome. When you hold shift, it rotates 45 degrees at a time. So it is super fast. I'm gonna take these measurements and instead of 80, I'm gonna type 50 and I'm gonna type 50. And then I want to align these to the edges. I'm just going to nudge them close with the arrow keys. Once again, you can do it a little quicker with shift nudge. Watch here. I'll hold shift nudge. It's pop, pop. So it's 10 times as fast. And we can get those lined up really quickly. Now, once you do get them close to in place, and I am going to allow them to overlap, then we can double check. So if I grab these three and press the letter L for a line, notice that gray button. That means they were good. I'm going to grab these three now. Notice it says three shapes. Choose a line. This time I did not hit the letter L. I just checked them and they are all good. At this time, friends, I'm going to click on one of the walls and do control D and nudge it away so we can keep it separate. Now this is the first floor of my house, so we're going to grab it and let's do control G or hit the group button to group it. Friends, with your first part of your house built, bring in a wall and find the black handle. This is how you're going to make the different rooms. You can pick whatever measurements you want. I'm not going to give you rules. I am going to tell you if you grab the white handle, it goes two directions. At the same time, if you grab the black handle, it only goes one. So that is much handier. I'm going to do control D and rotate that 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside the shape, it goes 22 and a half degrees. If you go outside, it does one degree. And if you hold the shift button, pop pop it goes 45 degrees at a time so you can make your rooms really quick now you do want to make sure your walls line up and then you just keep having fun building all the pieces so that i'm going to say is a bedroom beside the bedroom i'm going to have a bathroom let's nudge that over there i do need to put a wall on that but watch this i can stretch and make it equal to i'll add the doors later I'm going to take this wall and stretch it all the way across. Remember how the whole thing was 80? I know if I type 78, bang, it fits. Now this room over here is going to have a sweet closet. So let's do control D and nudge that over. So there's a closet. And then also I want to separate these two areas when we come in. So I'm just going to do control D and I'm going to bring this down and then shrink it. So it fits once again, making sure I grab those black handles to get it to the right spot. Then there will be a little hallway to cut between the two rooms. Now friends, you can have so much fun customizing this, but this is how I'm gonna show you how to make your floor plan. Let's real quickly add a second floor. I'm gonna hit W for work plane and put it on top. I'm gonna bring in the floor so that way it has a place to sit. And we're going to stretch it all the way across. Remember our numbers were 80 and 50. Having those numbers makes it so much faster. And then I'm going to make the floor one millimeter thick. If we do shift select, you can align those. I'm going to make sure I've got it to that corner and this corner. And now I'm going to put the work plane on top of that shape, go back down to my walls, do control D, press the letter D and drop it to the top. I'll add a roof later. Right now, let's hide the floor and grab one wall, control D, and let's hit D to drop it to the right height, 
check out how quick we've got that built and now you can have a ton of fun making all your rooms on the upstairs floor as well when you do control d don't forget that sweet shift nudge to move these around i'm going to put a little bedroom over here and then i'm going to do control d and i'm going to move put the restroom close to it right there let's do that same wall stretch now you need a way to get up to it so let's cut in a hole for stairs I'm gonna bring out a hole right here. Just nudge it to that area. I'm gonna make it a rectangle by choosing 10. And I'm gonna push it through and let's do shift select to group it so now there's a way up in. Let's find some stairs. I'm gonna do W for work plane, hide the floor. And if you come over here and type stairs, there is actually a pre-made stair that you can bring in. I'm going to use mirror to adjust it. So when playing with these numbers, the smallest you can go is 5555, five, 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 which works pretty decent. Then we can hold down shift to shrink it so it lines up with our building. And then I'm going to just make it the width I want and then nudge it into that spot. Notice I still got to go a little bit smaller for it to work. I'm going to just hold down shift and shrink that nudge it and there it matches just perfect you'll notice it's got a height of 15 so that makes total sense friends now when we bring back all you can see that actually fits i just need to make it to the correct width i'm going to hold down shift and raise it up one millimeter so that it runs into the floor actually level how cool is that friends the next step is to add the way to get in we're going to bring out a whole cube i'm going to tell you to hold down shift and shrink it to size five notice you can type five in the box to get it there and we're going to make the height 10. i'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge this into my building when i get it to the spot where i want to put my door i'm going to do control d so there are two of them i'm going to make the second one brown because it's going to be the door and i'm going to lock it Friends, this part is so cool. When you do control G on those three shapes, it only groups the two shapes. So bingo, you have instantly got a door. Now you do need to change the door to the thickness of two. So real quickly, friends, I'm gonna hit T for transparent. You can see that didn't line up right. If we do L for align, you can see we can come up and line it to that edge so that it's perfect. Now friends, I wanna group all these later. So I'm showing you how to group them, but I'm gonna lock it when all my windows are done. So right now I'm gonna hide that so I can get to the brown one and I'm gonna lock it. And let me show you how we're also gonna quickly add windows. Once again, we'll cut them in when we're finished. Bring out a hole, hold down shift, shrink it to the size you want. I'm gonna say the number I want once again is five and press enter. I'm gonna bring it into place and I'm gonna do control up to raise it where I want it. I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna move it across. I'm gonna make this one a picture window and I'm gonna stretch it up in the air to the height I want. I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. I don't want it to run into the stairs so I'm gonna nudge it this way instead. Now friends, we use the exact same technique here where we do duplicate, control D we lock the second one and we're going to make it a color i'm going to go for purple for right now once again control d lock the second one and i'm going to make it a color purple and when we've got all of our windows built so let's pretend i'm all done at this point i'm going to hide everything else so i don't accidentally group it let's grab these walls here and when I've got the entire set of windows, so you'd go all the way around your house, then you can grab those shapes and you can group them. And then if you unlock everything, so there I unlocked them by clicking twice, and you can hit T for transparent so you can see through them. Instead of that size three, we wanna make them size two. And once again, T for transparent and bingo, you can see through your windows. You can pick any color you want. I usually choose blue, but doggone it, that was pretty cool with the purple as well. Friends, when we click show hall, you can see we've got a sweet house. If you make mistakes, like I've got a wall running into this, then all you do is hide your parts. And I can even just hide this wall 
and nudge it a couple clicks to get it where I want. You could also change your walls instead of two to size one if you thought that was better. When I do show all, bingo, that's starting to look pretty darn awesome. Real quickly, friends, I'm going to add a roof. I'm going to do W for work plane, and I'm going to bring out this roof right here. I'm going to use this as a cute little dormer. I'm also going to do control D. Let's do shift nudge to rotate that 90 degrees. I'm going to line it up exactly the way I want. I'm going to give it a little bit of overhang. Move it past. Move it past. Raise it up. And then these will be my cute little dormers. Just use the arrow keys to get them where I want. Control up a couple times. Maybe adjust those measurements to the thing I want. Control D, nudge it across, and Control D. I do want those to be aligned, so I'm going to shift select them. I'm going to group them, Control G, and then shift select my roof, and I'm going to align it as well. Once again, make the roof the master, look at it from a corner, and pop, group them all. Now I can shift select the building, choose a line, and make sure the red is the boss and center it in both directions as well. How fun is that? Friends, I'm going to shift select the outside of my building. I am going to click a brown color. I do also have to do that middle piece, which would have looked silly if I had left it. But friends, that work plane on the ground is how you can make a floor plan of a house. Friends, let's real quickly take care of the interior doors as well. Notice I am hiding these pieces by selecting them and hitting hide. And then we're going to simply use the exact same technique to cut in the doors. Once again, we bring out a cube. I'm going to tell you to hold down shift and shrink it. We're going to go size 5. But we're going to make it 10 high. And then simply put the doors wherever you want them. Once again, I'm going to do control D. This time I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to just bring this one out for later. I'm going to make it red for now and let's do control D and nudge these across to where the doors would be. That's my bathroom door. Control D. Nudge that across. That will be the room. That'll be the door to that bedroom. I'm going to make all of these walls tan quick. Shift select. Shift select. So this will be the interior color of the house. If you sneak under here, you can easily grab those. Make them the right color as well. And you can paint it all different, but then once you've got them selected, shift, select, 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 and control G to group. Then you can take your door, pick the color it is, move it into place, and do control D to nudge them where they go. Don't forget, you can also go into the creatures and characters and add cool people to your house as well. Of course, he is large. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink him so he would actually fit in the building. There we go, celebrating kid in our awesome floor plan house. How cool is that? I'm also going to shut off the grid because I like that view even better. Now I'm leaving tons of room for you to add all the extra things to make it more incredible. Chimneys, windows, furniture. Don't forget you can look for everyday objects to make it more awesome. There are so many things you can add to make your house absolutely amazing. Now when you're finished, make sure you remember you can show the whole world your design by clicking properties, making sure it has a cool name, adding your details, like, of course, mine will show the tutorial in a minute and some tags. Notice I'm going to call this house. I'm going to call it floor plan. And then if you want me to see what you create, make sure you tag it with HLMT23 because I search that tag every day to see what cool things people have made. The next thing to do is to click public and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives so that way people follow the tutorial to gain more skills. Once you hit same changes, the whole world will be able to see your awesome creation. Friends, let's do one more quick mod. If we grab these corners real carefully, notice it says three shapes. We can hit group and bingo, now you don't have that silly seam on your project. 
Friends, I am looking forward to seeing all the cool things that you add to this. And once again, I want to thank Brian for the suggestion. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.